down here, Merc. Soldier Boy Steel. Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Uh? Wedge. Uh... You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. So fast, we've got company. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Whoa, wait! It's over! That's my line. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Tifa and I...
These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Mako! It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako <sighs> is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red! The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> Say that again! <laughs> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. That happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. Sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. What are you? Twenty something? First. Huh? Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the twenties. The hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I uh <clears throat> though for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm-hmm. Guess that make you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn! That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! the timer. Your call, Merc. Pretty cocky, ain't you?
Thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. That is a yes.
<sighs> Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it? I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it. Huh. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. And soon. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back, then. I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marley. Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Fire in the hole! You sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. Attention all citizens. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of sector 8... No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merc's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! Hmm. Hmm. I don't need to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it. For saving my life. Just doing my job. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. Uh. 
Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Sir, please inform the nearest okay. security. Okay, I was only trying to help. You may oh, before I forget, here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. Could it be? But then... You're not real. You're... dead. I am. I killed you with my own... <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown burns so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh, yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred.
I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. You are too weak to save anyone. Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know. For scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> It's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <gasps> This cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. You think he's a keeper? To, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. 
Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. Uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> Them's fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level, atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <sighs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. what I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. 
Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Screwed up? Huh. You're such a kidder. remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Uh... you're doing scaring my daughter like that daddy says never talk to strangers <sighs> that's right honey i do say that what a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons <laughs> you know what else good girls do they go to bed on time come on but i'm not tired i want to talk some more daddy mm, all right but just this once <sighs> Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... Chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. 
Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. How'd that go? Not good at all. I don't know what it is. So, you make nice so with everyone? Empty. Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells Didn't them to. Attack Sector so, 7? The top it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure.
Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Thinking I might have dinner at Seventh Heaven tonight. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <clears throat> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jesse put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? All the items you could want, straight from the plate. He's a regular. Stock up here, and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well... You could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please? Can't help but take a little pleasure in your panic. More than a little. Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa! My dear, dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit. Big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, give or take. Wow. Ain't they uh, but Absolutely. never mind that. But We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapons store. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? <laughs> huh? Hey! 
That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor? Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Um, Looking to join the Neighborhood Watch? That depends. What does this Neighborhood Watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the Watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in Gil, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. All set. Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. Huh. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud. I'll come with. No. I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. All right. I think that might be the last of them. They won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right, let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Back already? Got every last one, too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines! Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've gotta ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you gotta do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Oh. You okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to rustle up some more work for you? 
That sounds great. I'll come too. Oh, uh, no, you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Her? No fair. Uh, think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh, uh. Hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. Hold up. Heard there's a merc that'll take on any monster. You the man? Word spreads fast around here. What if I am? Sorry about before. I get antsy when business is slow. Ugh. Man in your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on for size? Yours on the house. Badass like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Or if you want to take a look at something else. Just a look. Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on. Let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know. Could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle and bone structure. An optimal candidate. My name is Chadley. I'm an intern for Shinra's research and development division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia, as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent! Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. Cloud! You were the first to gather the data I requested. Here is the rest of your payment. I have developed new materia. Would you like to see it? I plan to develop more materia in the future. Together, we can harness enough power to take down Shinra. I'll keep repairing more battle intel reports, which I hope you will assist me in completing. That went well! Could be you found your calling. Eh. Uh, was alright, I guess. Think of each job as an opportunity. Not to make money, but to build connections. It's not what you know, but who. <laughs> you remembered. Not a patient teacher. <laughs> Maybe not so patient next time. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Barrett should have finished collecting his share of the money by now. So what do you want to do? Head back to the bar? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. I hope he's okay. Stay away from me! Hold it! Settle down now. Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! What's Come going on? on? Somebody like went that? and stole some blasting data from a you. Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not gonna settle for just roughing him up this time. We've got to save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And he's a talker. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Lead on. <sighs> Thanks. Come on. He could go to jail.
Come on, let's get a closer look. Any way to treat a model citizen of Midgard? Model citizens don't steal blasting agent. So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse logs? Huh? You've got it all wrong. I've never gone anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. <laughs> Your ID was never lost, Kyle. But it never got to inside a Shinra installation in a parking lot. I don't know what you're building all the time. I swear. All he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Yep. Anyway, you distract the officers and I'll figure something out. Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Huh? Is that, is that who I think it is? Oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Out on the- Hurt! What do you think you're doing? Here we go. <sighs> well, what now? He's a talker. Huh? Whoa, whoa! No! Huh? You're not gonna... Hold up! Wait! Don't, don't do it, man! You wanna live? Then get the hell out of town. <laughs> you, you got it, boss! You ain't never gonna see my face again! I swear! <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but... It's fine. And them? No more. Cloud, you're scaring me. <laughs> we need to go before they wake up. I... I'm worried about Johnny. I'm more worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just... You've really changed. How? I suppose it's... Yeah. Your eyes. They used to be less... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? <sighs> I remember. So, what do you want to do now? Head back to the bar, or do you want to tackle another job or two? And here we are. You must be tired. Same as you, I guess. Could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? Tifa. Yeah, I'm feeling it a bit too. Hey, do you think you'll stick around a little longer? Maybe. Work for a minute, build up some savings. I see. In that case, want to head back out and look for more gigs? We're back. Did you... have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, wanna go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. <sighs> <sighs> Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay... You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Oh, I'm really sorry, but it shouldn't take much longer. In the meantime... <laughs> grab a seat.
What'll it be? I don't know. Something hard and bitter. <laughs> Most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. I gotta go. Uh, enjoy. Huh? Hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. Public enemy number one. Gets your heart racing, doesn't it? They don't know our faces, so we're in the clear for now. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. <sighs> Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even a blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings. So if it comes down to do or die... If I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then... I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. Could still kill some time. you're having second thoughts I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference but not like this I just I feel trapped if it feels wrong don't do it kick you out we agreed to disagree so you want another drink Tifa time to celebrate break out all the good stuff oh sure <laughs> we won't be needing you for this next job feel free to look for work elsewhere fine by me that's how I like it no contract no obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. tried. We talked it over, but in the end, we didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? Be right there. No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. 
Catch you later. <sighs> Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. Hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. No big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm? Heard he set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch to you. Five hundred. Two hundred. Mm, three. Whatever, man. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. Got something to say? You looking at me? Move it! I said move! Look at all these assholes staring at us. This shithole's got nothing on wall markets. Am I right? Don't overdo it. Word of advice, Slotty. Don't piss off my friend here. You'll be real sorry. Unless you got some kind of death wish, then be my guest. <laughs> After you, brother. And don't worry, I ain't the backstabbing type. Most days. Spill it! You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh yeah? You wasted my time! Shinra's time, you mean? <laughs> Shinra knows better than to stick its nose in my boss's business. Like I give a shit. <laughs> Welcome home, honey! Took your sweet time! Uh... uh... <clears throat> Psych! <sighs> Are you gonna let me in, so we can talk in private? Guess I'll get right to the point then. Huh. What have you got there? An apology for not getting you on the mission. Uh. Or not. What do you think it is? A proposition. Nailed it in one. Gonna have to ask you to keep all this a secret from the others, though. It's a personal matter. Something I need to sort out tonight. Tonight? Tonight. You and me, together. I want you to come with me to the Sector 7 plate. I'll give you the details on the way. That's fine by me, but don't you have a pretty big day ahead of you? I do, but... If I don't deal with this now, it's only gonna get harder. Anyway, I can count on you, can't I? Hmm. Oh. A down payment. Just another job. Huh? Huh? Tough break. They changed the times. Last train's already left. Which is why we borrowed these bikes. Need a lift to the plate? How did you guess? Easy. You've been acting weird. Like talking about one thing when you're obviously thinking about something else. Yeah, and don't get me started on all that pep. All right, I'll give you that. But how did you know I wanted to head topside? Was I talking in my sleep? 
What else did I say? No, we just figured you wanted to see your parents, that's all. Nailed it, huh? Yep, right on the head. So, seeing as we don't have any family of our own, how about you let us be a part of yours for a bit? You know, spread the wealth. <sighs> Are your parents still around? Huh? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay then, guess you're all invited. Here's to awkward family reunions. Yeah! <laughs> I take it you boys have your brand spanking new IDs? Yes, ma'am. Then let's lay down some rubber. Crank that drive. Okay, you got it. You hear me? Yeah. Just so you know, I'm not going plate side for the reason they think I am. Look, you saw the way the reactor went up. It was huge, right? Because of all the Mako. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. That was wishful thinking. Deep down, I know it was my fault. I used a more powerful blasting agent than the directions called for. It had nothing to do with the Mako. Let's say you're right. So what? I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. But, since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Shinra? Good luck with that. With your help, we won't need luck. No, head straight for the warehouse. Your magical ride is almost at an end. Why are you talking like we're not here? Because you're not. Clearly we are. could ever grow tired of your company. <laughs> naughty, naughty! Until one of our flames is forever extinguished, our friends will never rest! <laughs> Burn for me! Room! <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's push it past the red line! Jesse, take over. Huh? Well, well, well. I do believe this round is yours. <laughs> 
Maybe next time we can keep it just between the two of us. Maybe. <laughs> Until we meet again, my friend! We did it! Go team! Don't get too excited. Reinforcements are hot on our trail. You failed the test. What test? Driving. I'm great at driving. <laughs> great at scaring your passengers, more like. Not used to having any. Maybe you should just let me drive. Nope. <laughs> Guess I'll take one for the team and be your back warmer again. Would you look at that? It's the end of the ride. <sighs> we'll go on foot from here. Don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Hey, did these things leave a mark? <laughs> they got you pretty good. Oh, and I'm running on fumes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll top you up soon enough. Now let's roll. district where they put you when your parents work for Shinra while their reactors were slowly killing the planet we were living the good life <laughs> with your help we won't need luck You'll take on just about any job, right? Well, I need you to rob my house. Think you can do that for me? Huh. Go in through the back door when the coast is clear. The signal will be obvious. Once the lights come on, it's go time. Time to go. Inside, you'll find a room with two doors. Don't take the one in front of you. You want the room on the right. That's where you'll find it. again we'll be chatting mom up in the kitchen so don't even bother being quiet there's no way she'll ever hear you dad'll be in there but it's okay <sighs> I need you to grab his Shinra ID card and yeah I know I should do it myself but <laughs> But I honestly don't think I'm up to it. Just do this for me, okay? Yeah, This isn't it. This is amazing. Now this, this is what I've been waiting for. Jesse.
Please, take more. What's this? Yeah, thank you. Dear Mom and Dad, Sorry for not getting in touch sooner, but... I'm working at the Gold Saucer as an actress now. It wasn't easy, and I had a lot of help from people along the way. But I managed to land a starring role. And closed our two tickets to my play. Looking forward to seeing you both there. Jesse Raspberry as the princess? I'm so happy. My dad, he was a maintenance supervisor at the reactor. Mission accomplished. When are you going to give up on the gold saucer? How long has it been since you even performed? Uh... A lot of people really rely on Jesse. As a stagehand though, right? You can be one of those anywhere. So why not come home and get a job at the Sector 8 Theater? Uh, I'll think about it. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Yeah, well, we hadn't even planned on dropping by. But Wedge wanted some of your famous mm. pizza. So good. Sure I can't tempt you with some more? Maybe just a couple slices, Mrs. R. Wedge! Hey, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. You don't want me going to work on an empty stomach. I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. Since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Hey there. This it? Now comes the hard part. I'm gonna use this to sneak into the 7-6 Annex. Uh, Alright, let's get to it. Sorry, but you're staying outside. Only I know what to steal from where, so it's gotta be me who goes in. So, we came all this way just to eat pizza? <laughs> you think I'd let you off that easy? You're gonna earn every slice helping Cloud. Just do the thing where you draw everyone's attention away, like you did at my parents. What's the word again? Maybe I'm more nervous than I thought. Diversion. Yeah, that. Nice one, military man. So what? Does this mean we're gonna ask some Shinra folks out to dinner? Uh, you know damn well what she means. Uh, uh, While you're inside, we make sure the guards are focused on the outside, yeah? Exactly. Couldn't have put it any better. When you see a flare go up, that's your cue. Rush the front gates and make for the warehouse plaza. The more hell you raise, the more time you buy me. Huh. You're gonna run this guy into the ground, aren't you? How much time do you think you'll need? Not too much. I'll be in and out. I'll send up another flare when I'm done. We rendezvous in the vacant lot up ahead. Hold on. How are we supposed to get back to the slums? Wait for the first train? No. I want to be back before that. Don't worry. I have something worked out. Now, let's get this done. <laughs> well, that diversion's not gonna create itself. Jesse's dad was in there. 
right? Yeah. Mako poisoning. Happened while Jesse was doing a show with the gold saucer. Ah. But what do you care? No. I want to hear it. Jesse always wanted to be an actress. Worked her ass off for years. Until finally she caught a break. Top billing. Parents were thrilled. And then, right before opening night, her dad had an accident. Collapsed from overwork. And in the worst possible place, Mako Storage. Lay there half a day before someone found him. Been like that ever since. No change whatsoever. And that's what got her into planetology and led her to seek out Avalanche. How far we've come. Jesse's got a theory about it. Thinks her dad's spirit is stuck now, between his body and the heart of the planet. So if we don't shut down the reactors soon, he'll get caught up in the flow and poof. <laughs> What's so funny? Just that I understand how you feel. Unlike most of the time. I see. Mako's the essence of life itself. Of memory and hope. It's not something you burn in a reactor just to keep the lights on. Hell no. Oh, uh, don't tell Jessie about this little chat, okay? When she gets pissed, ooh, she gets punchy. Well, no promises. He's serious, Cloud. She'll beat the shit out of us. Not my problem. This guy. Hey, it's the lot Jesse was talking about. We rendezvous here when we've got what we came for. Gotta stay hidden. Wait for the signal. It's so quiet. Just need to get past this gate. Wait, where are the guards? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone beat us here. And I don't think it was Jesse. This had better not get in the way of our plans. <laughs> it won't. <laughs> don't see anyone. What the hell happened? Hey man, the plaza's that way. Warehouses are further in. Jesse's supposed to be circling around from the back, right? No need for us to rush. Let's scout it out first. I can handle this solo. What? You're trying to keep us out of it now? Don't be a jackass. We're in this together. Don't expect me to save you. If you need to check your gear, now's the time. Give the word when you're good to go. You can use that vending machine over there to stock up. Remind me, you've got summoning materia, don't you? There's no better way to deal with big groups. You'd be crazy not to equip it. Okay, let's go over the plan one last time. <sighs> you start things off by cutting loose where everyone can see you. <laughs> and us? We're the backup. First, we climb high enough to get a vantage point, then we go to town on him. Hey ya. So, what did you want to talk about? When spring comes, I'm leaving town. I'm going to Midgar. Should have figured. All the guys are leaving. But but I'm not like them. I'm not going just to look for work. I'm going to be a soldier. The best of the best, like Sephiroth. The great war hero, huh? Hmm. Isn't it pretty hard to become a soldier? Yeah. So I won't be back for a long time. Guess not. Think you'll be in the papers? I'll try. Just promise me one thing. When we're older, and you're a famous soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, 
Promise you'll come and save me. Huh? That's what heroes do. They save people. Please? Just once. Uh... Come on, promise me. Fine. I promise. you're having second thoughts I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference but not like this I just I feel trapped <sighs> that's the signal all according to plan. Let's go. Right. Yeah! I don't see any intruders. Maybe they went home. Oh, hey! Over there! Target sight! Light him up! <laughs> the pizza <laughs> <laughs> hell of a show man if only the ladies loved you that much I'm glad someone's enjoying themselves Second dance, just the two of us. Yeah. 
you turn the key. The engine roars with excitement. It hungers to be set free! Fall back. Uh, 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 right. Uh, Come on. Uh, 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 it's been a long time since I fought a duel out of the saddle. But, for all the miles on the clock, I'm just as fast as I ever was! <laughs> I told you we were gonna push it past the red line! Satisfied? <laughs> With such fleeting pleasure? Hardly. <sighs> there are higher heights to which you and I can still soar. this again. Until then, try not to die. I'll see you on the road, my friend. will be fine, but you won't be if they start asking questions. And who are they? First guests to the party, another avalanche cell. Our holier-than-thou friends from the old guard. <laughs> it's always their way or the highway. Lately, they've been a real pain in the ass. Till now. So then why are they here? Beats me. We've been on the outs ever since our cell got labeled too extreme. Though they're the ones running around with mil-spec gear. Word is, they cut a deal with Wu-Tai. Promised them all the materia in Midgar, apparently. Think there's any truth to that? You tell me. Sometimes, I think we're the only ones who've realized the war's over. <clears throat> okay. Mission complete. 
Let's make our way back to the lot. Right. You made it! Over here! Okay! Let's go! Could you have been any louder? I mean, it made my job a lot easier, but... Wait, where's Wedge? Wedge! That was close. We'll go get him. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Come on. Not my finest hour. You get hit? Just winged, I think. Oh, shot! Really? Let me see. Are we seriously doing this here? Yeah. That's... Wow. <laughs> you guys are the worst. Huh? Your ass is fine. Maybe singed, but the only casualty is your underwear. This is like a bruise or a mild burn at worst. <clears throat> now that was a gunshot. <laughs> is that a smile I spy? <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, it's not safe here. We should go. <laughs> Copy, Copy that. that. Should be somewhere around here. Bingo. Mm -hmm. I have figured my dad got it wrong, but nope. They're here just like he said. Parachutes? Mm-hmm. Huh? What do you mean, half-figured? 50-50 is pretty good odds, if you ask me. <laughs> this is w gonna be wait, fun. Uh, uh, <sighs> Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you coming all this way with me. And like I said before, I'd be grateful if you kept this between us until after the mission. I don't want to complicate things. Sure. Okay, who's ready to fly? Me, me! Hey, Cloud, you let him down gently, all right? Yep. Wait, I almost forgot. One more thing. Whoa! Whoa. St stop it! Whoa. What in the hell are you trying to... Uh. Whoa. 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 Easy, you'll make us fall! Not if you do first. <laughs> Swing by my place after, so I can pay you in full. Such a hard ass, bro. I ain't your bro. Done more. Just got hurt. You did enough. You took one for the team. Be proud. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Feels like we're flying high these days. <laughs> now, more than ever. He's a keeper, all right. Yeah. Together, we can take on the world. home on my own. After all, I'm only a little sore. <laughs> it's cool. We'll go together. Aw, thanks, bro. <sighs> Cut that out. <laughs> this way. 
Think Jesse and Biggs made it back safe? I guess. Cool if we check on them? We'll pass by their places anyway. Sure. You saw it too, right? Quiet out here. Well, this is Big's place. I guess he hasn't made it home yet. Guess not. Hope he isn't worst casing it again. He's got a habit of overthinking things, worrying about all the possible outcomes till his head hurts. Wouldn't have guessed. And when he worries, I worry. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to Jesse's. Me wanting to leave Midgard and go over I stayed up all night thinking about the reactor. This is where Jesse lives. Men are not allowed inside. Mm. Lots of pretty girls trying to make it big on stage live here. So don't hang around or they might get the wrong idea. Huh. I'm telling you this for your own good, Cloud. People around here love to gossip. They know about Jesse and Avalanche? Nah, it's all good. They think she's an actress. Oh, and one more thing, bro. It's all a game to her. Don't fall for it. You lost me. <laughs> Life's a stage and loves the play. Hey there, bigums. Reggie, Smalls. Brought a new friend to meet you. These little guys are on guard duty today. Okay. Thanks for seeing me home. Really sorry about your ass. It's all good, bro. It's kind of weird when you call me that. Hey, don't be scared. Deep down, he's a big softy. It's okay. It's okay. Good job, guys. Great work. Well, if it isn't Cloud Strife, I was wondering when you'd show up. Without further ado, here you are. Thanks for stepping up. Merc. <laughs> and now, for the cherry on top. Oh. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? Just let go already. Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal? No promises, but I'll think it over. Really? You will? I'd make a mean pizza, I'll have you know. Marsh, Louche, Black Millie, Red Shelly. I use only the best ingredients. Sound good? Uh, never heard of any of that stuff. Oh, you are so adorable, you know that? You just leave everything to me. It'll be great. <laughs> Nighty night. Yeah. You were out for a while. Just walking. <sighs> I ran into Johnny, by the way. Said not to worry, he was getting out of town. Uh... Oh, that guy. You weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. Long time ago I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So... <sighs> Can't say this is quite what I had in mind when I put that on you way back when. If you want to talk, I'm listening. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? With me? <laughs> like you're losing that hard edge. That bad? Not at all. I like it. Maybe Marlene won't be so scared of you next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Really glad. Oh, it's pretty late, huh? I'd like to catch up more, but we should probably both get some sleep, yeah? Yeah. Good night, then. Good night, Tifa. when those things showed up and came after us. The others? Barrett and Jesse are holding their ground, but for how long? I don't know. Let's go. Right. Ready? You know it. Some kind of... I don't know. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Never can tell what weird shit'll come crawling out of the scrap down here. It's those reactors. I'm telling you. It hurt? Wish I could say it didn't, but... Yeah. <laughs> God, this is so embarrassing. I hate playing the damsel in distress. It happens. What did you do to your leg? Did, 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 does it hurt? Not nearly as much as the fuss everyone's making. Still, I think you ought to avoid putting any- I'm fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> That's enough. You're out, Jesse. Huh? What about the mission? 
We already sent Biggs in, remember? Don't tell me you're thinking of calling it off. Uh, no, we got this. The hell you do. If you need someone to step up, I'm your man. <coughs> okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna need a raise. Consider it done. All right, everyone. Clouds in. The mission is on. Go and raise some hell for me, okay? <laughs> Listen, Wedge. I need you to hang back and guard the home front. What? But I'm in perfect health! Which makes you the perfect choice to look after Jesse and Marlene. <sighs> hey. Let's get this show on the road to Marco Reactor 5. Once you got your gear in order, head to the station for the meet. Got it? <laughs> this will help you get squared away. Don't tell me I never did nothing for you. I'm counting on you, soldier boy. All right, let's get going. Sure. After you take a deep breath. Huh? I can tell you're nervous. That obvious, huh? Okay. I'm ready now. All right, people. Mission starts the moment we board that train. You sure you ready for this? Do you think Biggs is on schedule? All we can do is hope. Today really got to be the day, huh? There ain't no stopping this train we're on, son. A lot of people risk their lives to get it rolling. Already put the word out, more is coming too. Shut them all down by the day, or we shut another down for you. Ain't on us, not us. Play it cool. We have raised the threat level and entered a state of heightened alert. All lines are currently experiencing delays. We anticipate that our arrival in Sector 4 will be later than scheduled. The target's Marco Reactor 5. From the station, we take the back streets. Once we're inside the facility, it's the same deal as last time. Head for Marco storage and then blow it all to hell. Let's do this one for Jesse and Wedge. They deserve it. Yeah. Sure. I didn't think word would spread this fast. There's barely anyone on this train, and none of them look happy to be here. Might stand out as a group. You two stay here. Checkpoint shortly. Here comes the first hurdle. Not much of one. 
I know, I know, but that doesn't mean I don't have butterflies in my stomach. <sighs> hey, would you mind keeping an eye on things the next car over? I'm worried there might be trouble. Why is that? Barrett's always on edge before missions. But you know he's a good guy underneath it all. The people on this train don't. He'll be fine. Maybe. But I won't be until I know for sure. Be right back. Thanks. So, do you still support those terrorists? Avalanche is a blight on Midgar. Their bomb threat has thrown our offices into chaos, let alone the reactor itself. It's total insanity! But we won't lose heart. No! Everyone at Shinra agrees. The reactor will stay online. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, what? You got a problem with that? Do I have a problem with that? Oh, you can bet. He doesn't. You know you're better than that. <laughs> Unauthorized IDs detected. Threat level critical. <laughs> Inspection and containment suite initiated. Commencing at the rear of the train. Not good. Get over here! Now! Take care of them, Cloud! On it. What are you doing? Trying to keep you alive. But I work for Shinra. I'm the enemy. I don't care. I don't want anyone to die. Please. I'll look after the others. My turn. <laughs> There's no end to them. Three unauthorized hostages successfully neutralizing threats. Like you're right, soldier boy. Screw this. The station will be crawling with security. We gotta jump. Screw that. Need to slow the train down. Sounds like a big plan E. These surats. Speaking of which, where's the third? In custody, sir. Return it to the wild. Yes, sir. Right away. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be plan E. Go on. 
plan A was if everything went off without a hitch. From the station, it would have been a straight shot to the reactor. Didn't work out, but we knew going in we had to have alternatives. Backup plans in case we had to get off early. From closer in to further out, B, C, D, and so on. Up to what? To E. Lucky us. Yeah! <laughs> You're damn right. Anyway, we were riding the train between Sector 4 and the main pillar when we had to bail out. And we ended up on the adjacent line, which should take us to Reactor 5. That's right. So for now, we follow the tracks. Not too far, though. Need to switch to a different route before we hit the station. Because you can bet your ass it's going to be crawling with security. All on high alert. Let's move. Our friends are set to five marked the route, so don't worry about getting lost. It's a straight shot to victory, people! All we gotta do is take it! You have nothing to worry about, sir. Preparations for the grand finale are proceeding without incident. I have the utmost confidence that everything will play out as you intended. Yes, of course. I will not fail you, sir. No. Sir, analytics reports that the results fall within the admissible range. However, the casualty rate significantly exceeds previous projections. Ah. Remind me what your job is. Is it to question the wisdom of your superiors and bemoan your personal hardships? Sir? Huh. Casualty rate. You think I care about the casualty rate? They're pawns in a greater game. If your stock runs low, then go round up more from Sector 3 or wherever else. Use your head and bring me solutions instead of problems for a change, yes? Sir. It is so hard to find good help these days. Which is why the President ought to count his blessings. What would he do without me? <laughs> it knows we trust. Good thing our colleagues put up all that stamp graffiti. Without it, we'd be lost for sure. There's an old rail yard not far from here. What we're looking for is somewhere inside. And that is a super passageway. We've compiled our report on Avalanche's combat capabilities and our... <clears throat> report, report, report. What good do you think a damn report will do anyone? I don't... Have you already forgotten the war with Wu Tai? An enemy spared is an enemy who will repay your kindness with blood. We must crush them thoroughly and completely, without hesitation or mercy. Shinra cannot and will not settle for anything less. Will you? But... but sir... If so... I can only assume that you and your men no longer wish to serve in your current positions. Is that correct? We'll prepare the prototype in Section E for immediate deployment. Right now, damn it! <laughs> another day, another victory! How do I do it? <laughs> this it? Get back!
stay down. Let's go. Sure. Ah, right, this way. This won't do. Sir, analytics reports that the feed went down after an anomaly was registered during the test. An anomaly? Or an excuse for your failure to properly prepare the armor? No, sir. All modules were confirmed fully operational. It's far more likely, given the circumstances, that the sensors were overloaded Is that so? All the sensors in Section E are inoperable. The President. Yes. Yes. Yeah, everything is fine, sir. Better, even. There's been a development. Yes. Understood, sir. We know exactly where they were headed. If the armor is intact, then you'd best determine the nature of this anomaly soon. Should you fail to do so, you will deal with our intruders personally. Uh, yes, sir. Don't worry. I treat my people more than fair. <laughs> so don't disappoint me. Just so you know, it's not going to get any easier. <laughs> when did it ever? Hmm. Through here, and straight on to Reactor 5. <sighs> you make it sound so simple. <laughs> Only because it is. That there's the reactor support pillar. So what's the plan? After plan E comes F, G, and then H. <sighs> Thought E was the last. <laughs> this here is section F. We cut through section G and head for H. A cargo platform in H will get us closer to the reactor. Biggs should be somewhere over there. Looks like the sun's going down on Midgar. Right. Double time. We got a date with the reactor. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. No good? Needs power, I think. That looks more like what we need. Control room. Let's check it out. Maybe no one uses that entrance. I'm getting the feeling no one's come down here for a long time. No plate inspectors, huh? Doesn't look good. Think it works? Power. Of course.
powers. Hey guys, look at this. Instructions for dealing with a power shortage. Kill the lights, we free up power for the gate and other stuff. Sun lamps. You think these are the plate suns? The closest thing we have to the real thing. Gotta put out a sun just to open a gate, huh? But if we go through with it, the grounders in Sector 4 will suffer. Now or later, sun's going out for good when we blow the reactor. That's true. Let's go. Emergency power supply confirmed. Disengaging locking mechanisms. Okay, that's that. <laughs> Great job, Cloud. We're still in G, right? Yeah, and to reach Mako Reactor 5, we need to go through Section H. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't spot a connecting catwalk to Section H, did you? Well, we could always do another lap. Go for 10, why don't you? The only other route that I can think of would be... Along the wall. Up for giving it a try? It might not work out, but it's the only idea I've got. Hmm. It's not a bad one. So we're shooting for those giant fans way over there? Okay. At least we've got a clear landmark to guide us. This is it. The cargo platform Biggs was talking about. Let's not keep him waiting. Error. Insufficient power. You're kidding me. Needs three lights worth, looks like. But that's... That's all of them, isn't it? All or nothing. Let's regroup here if we get lost. Remember the H1 sign. Right. Let's see now. Closest light ought to be... That one. <laughs> Mercy! Wait. Cloud. <sighs> Where's Jesse and Wedge? Report. Top side's going nuts after some terrorists jumped off a train. Nice and quiet here, though. So quiet I had no trouble securing your route into the reactor. You magnificent son of a bitch! Bring it in! So, where are Come the others? On, man. Jesse got hurt and couldn't make it. Bad? Not so bad she couldn't rope in this guy. <sighs> Thanks for stepping up. It's a job. Worked out pretty good. You picking that train you did. While Shinra scours Sector 4, you can waltz right on into Sector 5. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it ought to get you where you need to go. A little dark and foreboding for my taste. Beggars can be choosers. Oh, and you'll be needing your grappling guns, of course. All set? Ready to take on the world and then some. Make sure everyone gets clear, okay? Will do. Keep these grappling guns close. Secure them to your belt or whatever so you don't lose them. When we're done, we'll be using these babies to get down safe. All of us. Got it. Excuse me, sir, your tie? Quickly now, quickly! Mm. That's it. That's the smell. This place reeks of Mako. Looks like we made it.
Layout's the same as Reactor 1. Yeah. We're near Mako storage. Let's move. Kinda scary, huh? It's all in the mind. Hmm? Hey, check it out. They stick this big boy on us, we'd be screwed six ways from Sunday. Mechanized units like these were designed to take out giant monsters. Probably a new prototype. If they do decide to deploy it, then our best bet would be to run like hell. Oof. Then let's hope he sleeps through the explosion. Soldier boy. Tifa. What? How much time we need? Got all the time in the world. This one comes with a remote detonator. Courtesy of Jesse. We withdraw to a safe distance. Then, kaboom! Safe distance? What? No such thing? <laughs> huh? What, what the? Where are you going? Weirdly perfect timing. Wait a minute. Is someone watching us? <laughs> Greetings, my dear sewer rats! As architect of our populist engagement campaign, I, Heidegger, head of public security, bid you welcome. The chief warmonger. You should be flattered. Right now, you command the undivided attention of every soul in Midgar. Huh? What is this? Breaking news from Mako Reactor 5. Shinra has confirmed the reactor to be the target of the bomb threat issued by the terrorist group Avalanche. <gasps> Members of the group were observed entering the facility, and security is currently sweeping it for explosive devices. We now go live to the scene. I'm here in the Sector 5 Undercity. Having confirmed the terrorist target, you guys the Shinra Emergency Operations us? Center has issued an evacuation advisory. Residents are outraged that the tragedy of Mako Reactor 1 was only the first attack in a campaign of violence. President Shinra has issued a statement providing assurances that the terrorists will soon be brought to justice. And so. To a people beset by chaos and uncertainty, we will offer the finest comfort, bread and service. The big boy. I give you Shinra's latest triumph of technology. The Air Buster, your executioner. <laughs> Engineering on the line. Currently, the Airbuster is only 60% operational. The estimates were optimistic. I'm on air! <laughs> to the imbecile in charge down there. You are here by order to seize those intruders and bring them to me. <laughs> Come quietly and there'll be trouble! Attention, all security forces. Shut the hell up! Subdue the 
insurgents. I don't believe it. We played right into Shinra's hands. I repeat. Yeah, and their bullshit the news is already peddling their false narrative. Right now. <sighs> so we're screwed. No, 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 hell no! Attention, all security Listen. forces. They want to turn this into a spectacle? The then I say let's give them, them to the command center Let's take down Shinra's big ass neck in front of everybody. Okay. Subdue the insurgents I'm and bring them to the command. Attention, all security forces. Subdue the insurgents and bring them to the command center immediately. I repeat. You heard the man. Get these components Subdue prepped for the airbus ASAP. And bring them to the command center right now. It's ready, sir. Component outbound from V8. Copy, V8. Take him out! M units, huh? I'm guessing that's some sort of component? Yep. An enhancement powered by liquefied materia. Sounds bad. Pretty sure I can divert this unit for disposal. for disposal. Just imagine in their faces when they find out. So far, so good. Right. Let's move. You think they're watching us? Even now? Yep. Probably got a live feed. Nothing we can do about it. Except smile for the folks at home. Component outbound from B7. Copy. We've lost contact with B8. Send some men to check it out. We've got a schedule to keep. Huh. Intruders! Seize them! Console talks about big bomber shells. You acquainted? We call them BBs. One's enough to blow you to hell and back. Could divert them and give it a couple less shots to take us out. Make the call. Big bomber shell flagged for disposal. Serves all right. So where did we send the discarded stuff? To a storeroom for defective equipment, I'm guessing. That's so. You think these defective shells and programming cores might be valuable enough to warn a little detour? Maybe. I say we grab them. Hmm. If we get that far. Everything Shinra has told you is a goddamn lie. Marco is the lifeblood of our planet. Those greedy bastards are bleeding it dry. Y'all gotta rise up. Barrett, who are you talking to? The people. Put me on TV, I'm gonna drop some truth. Thousand Gil says they cut the sound. I tell you what. I ain't never looked forward to an execution more in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. We're about to make fools out of Shinra while the whole damn city's watching. <laughs> Times like these, you gotta save them. Oh no, if you're about to ask me to dance, then don't. Come on, don't be shy. How about you, Cloud? I don't dance. Status report. We're making our final adjustments. Work faster, or you'll hear it from the brass. <clears throat> Look, they're still prepping it. They're here! Hold them back! Buy us every second you can! Looks like a performance assessment, don't you think? 
We'll figure out its weaknesses as we fight it. As long as we stay focused, we'll be fine. We can do this. For real though, we need to talk victory poses. Something coordinated for the live on camera finish. Could blow up big, start a new trend. Vito. Huh? No way up. Right. We don't want to disappoint Marlene. That goes for you too, Cloud. Right? You better give up, big old smile, this time. If the price is right. <laughs> That room over there. Why does everything have to be so damn complicated? You know, the faulty equipment storeroom's that way, too. Do you think we'll find the components we diverted there? It's like a treasure vault. Woo! I like the sound of that. Focus. Three, two, one. Delta level security. Disengaged. Disposal room now accessible. <sighs> Finally! I was beginning to think it'd never end. Hey, yo, Cloud. What's the deal? You really a bona fide soldier? We didn't train for this stuff. <laughs> All that marching with no rhythm? How did you soldier on? Okay, that's enough of that. Let's see what's inside. Soldier. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Though not, alas, for very long. Accelerated cellular degradation being the most common cause of death by far. This is classified, of course, but every soldier knows the truth. That's right. Think you for getting someone? Ah! <laughs> what did I get you? You strike me as the type to go on without that. Ain't enough hours in the day to hold you to account for all your crimes. And what a wasteful indulgence it would be, even if there were. Okay then. Let's talk about wasteful indulgences. What is Marco? The life stream. The lifeblood of the planet. Our planet. But Shinra keeps on slurping it up like a thirsty dog. What do you think's gonna happen if you don't stop, huh? Hmm. We do indeed keep on slurping it up, as you say. But for whose benefit, I wonder. The true nature of Mako is known to one and all, yet the people willfully turn a blind eye to the cost. As you must surely be aware. Don't you dare try to put this on us! If anyone's going along with your plans, it's cause you brainwashed them! Such methods are beneath me. As are you, my faithful sewerettes. Henceforth, allies of wicked Wutai, our sworn enemy. Thank you for stoking our people's patriotic fervor. Wutai! The hell we are! <laughs> You still don't understand your role in this. What are they doing? Don't you see? You fools were never in control. Never anything but pawns in our plans to sell great and glorious war to the people. And your instruments of insurrection will detonate. Uh. 
when we so choose. God damn it! Now let us raise the curtain on our main event! This ain't the end of the line for you or me. Something. Anything. Why not? Good. Easy does it. Slow. And steady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? I am. You're everything. Oh. Hello, man. Oh, Cloud. There's still so much to be done. Maybe you're not okay. Ah, he lives. Finally awake, are we? You're... Aerith. It's Aerith. And you are? Cloud. Nice to meet you again. Again, huh? What? You don't remember? What about the flowers? Oh, the flower girl. And this is... An old church in the Sector 5 slums. You came crashing through the roof without so much as a lookout below. <laughs> Fell right into my flower bed. Lucky for you. Like, really. S sorry, I, I didn't mean to- Don't worry about it. They're a lot tougher than they look. This place, it has a kind of power. Before I forget, you dropped this when you landed. Thanks. I've got one, too. You, and everybody and their mother. Not like mine, no. It's special. Mine's not good for anything at all. Bet you just don't know how to use it. Could be. Though... I really don't mind. 
Just having it is enough. It was a gift from my mother. Pretty crazy, huh? Us meeting again like this. You should stay a while. <gasps> really? You will? In that case... Huh? I'll see myself in. Thanks. <clears throat> and who are you? He's my bodyguard. And a soldier. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? A soldier? Ex-soldier. Well, what do you know? You've got the eyes, at least. You don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from Merc stuff, right? Huh? Uh, I guessed. From the sword. Just do this for me, okay? Fine. But it'll cost you. A lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Huh? Huh. Well, you're weird enough to be one. What class? <laughs> First. <laughs> if you're gonna bullshit me, at least try to make it believable. <clears throat> hey, watch the flowers! You heard the lady. <laughs> Make this quick. You better. Yeah. Good old what's his face. I'm the new guy. We can't do a cleanup, but I'm damn good at it. <laughs> <laughs> much as a scratch on her, you're done. Sir! We bring her in, in one piece. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Move it, I'll shoot! Oh no, you won't. But sir! <laughs> Could drop that. Should we pursue? Stay ahead of them. Prep for exfil. Or not. <sighs> they
they gone? Yeah, I think so. What are they? I think... actually... I don't know. Let's just go. Okay. Up for crossing the rooftops? See that pillar over there? There's a station right by it. Shall we mosey on over? It's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <sighs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. Unexpected? Thank you, Cloud. <sighs> ah, there it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. A whole world bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People hate the steel sky, the slums, but I don't. How could I? All that passion, all those dreams, flowing and blending together into something greater. You good? <laughs> of course. My hero. Never a dull moment with you. That a compliment? Uh, not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. We're getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a few monsters on the way. Hmm. Huh. There's a face that screams, so what? Eh, I fought scarier things in my sleep. The station's there. I can see that. Oh? Thought the world you knew didn't include stations. Ha ha. I can't believe this is happening. If you would all just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Check it out, Come Mom. on. There's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah. Well, it's got a good view of the reactor. <laughs> it's on fire! In a show. They know that. Don't worry. Huh? Wait. Deck is all clear! Probe's good! Go! Pull him up! <laughs> Let's go! Another Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. <sighs> Better than Shinra. There, check it out. The heart of the slums. <laughs> A fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. We don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. I'm standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor 5. 
They're As working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? There's still a lot of smoke rising Cowards. from the rubble. Using spies While so they don't have to break the ceasefire. While fallen beams and other debris continue to hinder I'm rescue efforts, the fires of the devils are trying to start another war. So if we help catch oh, the bombers, over there. we get a reward That's or something. That's the director of Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division, isn't it? Hey, excuse me, that doom but and would you blue. mind answering a few questions? No. We were safe down uh, here, right? Uh, they're targeting uh, Can you give us any updates no on the status of the reactor? The what kind of damage did so, it suffer in the explosion? Are we in any again? danger? <sighs> Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! All right. Let's go. I have to. I'm prepared to fight again. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm? What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> To no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. Then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <sighs> Found them! Hmm? <sighs> you take this one. Huh? Uh. Take it. Uh. Right. 
Off we go. <sighs> and these right here are my babies. Do you think we should pick any of them? Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. <laughs> I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? <sighs> Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. Watch out! The ground's really shaky! It's because of the reactor. You can't trust your feet. I'll go. Come on. Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like. I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, it'll be okay. <laughs> Wait! Hmm. Not him. It looks pretty damn similar. Huh? There's the number. But why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. <laughs> Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Beat them all. Come, look what we've done with the flowers. Lovely, don't you think? Great job. It's wonderful. 
<sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No, I don't believe that I have. Enough. <laughs> Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. <clears throat> hey there, partner. <clears throat> I'm sure you're having the time of your <clears throat> life, but we're needed on standby <clears throat> for a job at something <clears throat> about Sector 7. <clears throat> so get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life. For power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh. <sighs> I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. 
I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Stay my welcome. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Oh. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on, then. With pleasure. <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> and that's? The underside of Sector 6. Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well? It took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. You did it! Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hmm? All right, good enough. Let's keep on trucking. Hmm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <sighs> yeah? Huh? Uh... <sighs> oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It 
it's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? <clears throat> I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Campament uh, composite... I don't get it! Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh... It's like compensation... For damages! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you... No, when somebody else... We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> due recompense! Due recompense! Due... due recompense? Uh, no shit for brains. Due recompense. It's like, uh... Good. It's like, uh... uh, uh, uh compensatory damages! Uh, so damages recompense! I get it! What was that? I think we've heard enough. That went pretty well. Sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute, did you just... Nope. Cloud, up top! <laughs> Alright, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! Huh. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Okay. Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. Here. Mm -hmm. This won't take long. Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. 
You gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. <laughs> yeah. We'd lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Come on! Okay. Hey there! Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save her. Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute! Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? 
Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. If you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith. You sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tails. You lose. <sighs> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But, if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. This is it. I just, just want to see the place. I think so. We will. Let me handle this. It was like. You wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. I am but a beast. I'm so excited. Whoa. <laughs> Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market. The Honeybee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honeybee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. 
an appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm hmm We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... <laughs> hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <sighs> the strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah. 
You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. <laughs> Think you'll make a habit of it? Then, I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Carneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen. I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. I can't imagine sitting in the cheap seats. It'd be awful. Good thing we splurged. Down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Hey, lovebirds, over here. that never sleeps in the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure where your every desire can be indulged for the right price all money for you is seen kind of through the past and bloodshed we bid you the warmest of welcomes are you sitting comfortably or tonight the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the corneo coliseum Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents, thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit black. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the gill and the glory. And now, the long-awaited event in which the bloodstone beast will battle for your amusement and opponents! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes! And tonight's Corneo Time! Wow, this place is really something.
Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! And this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? Okay, now I'm mad. Zero, one of Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pets make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell, the sanguine stalker! Ladies and gentlemen, who will prevail in this total contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink! Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! Can you believe it? I don't think anyone saw this coming! What a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winners of our match are Cloud and Eric! Contenders, please return to your waiting room. Well, that's one win down. Go team! Mm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semi-finals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric! Couple of my ass! What the hell you two trying to pull? and killers through and through. Two criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets because they may have already robbed your blind. The most contemptible sons of bitches inside of Walmart best benefit. Members of Beck's badasses. 
Hey, that's cheating. The only rule here is that there are no rules. Yeah. If Corneo says it's okay, you got to submit it. Yeah. Yeah. The dad has branded his approval. This is ridiculous. The odds are overwhelmingly stacked against this. This could be a real bloodbath. So I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away, or you may miss the best part. The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals begins oh, now. Hey. That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> That is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more. The sweep to surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eren! better than that. And now, five-time winners of the Corneo Cup. Murder machines with countless kills to their name. Along with a handful of maimings. The deadly duo that takes up the trash with a vengeance. The electric executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions. Cutty and Sweepy. Come on now. Shinra armor. More like cheating. <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. The, the final, final match, match of the Corneo Cup begins now. It's never. Never. I can't believe it. And the winners of the Corneo Cup, the deadly and dynamic duo, Cloud and Aaron! My condolences. <laughs> oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. When you bet it all on a toss, sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. 
The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! Ah! You greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps! Hope your next match is even better than the last! Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all! Show them what you got! Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order! Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron! An unspeakable horse, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Cuneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hellhounds! We did it! Hmm. 
awfully rare you showing an interest in someone. What will you do? <laughs> You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. <laughs> well, that's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you earned. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. No! Cloud! Finally! Huh. Huh. Tifa! She... I... Tifa! She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like... How'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bam, bam, whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there once she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Huh? 
You're up. Come on. You look fine. What are you wearing? I know, right? It's bad. Like, super bad. I've been trying to figure out if there was anything more I could have done with it, but... Doesn't really matter if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you heading? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Just don't forget about Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please. Make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on. 
Come on, come on. Oh, the show's about to start. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> Sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's blushing. <laughs> Life can be hard, it can be bitter, but we can make it all so sweet. Here at the Honey Bee, in every moment. Welcome to the Humvee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? Oh, I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Think you can follow my lead?
Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. That show today blew my mind. Hey, look at me. I could dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was amazing. Drink. You can talk. Oh. Was it planned from the now start? that was a nice. show. Did you see their look of surprise? Cloud? Yoo-hoo, Cloud, hello? Eric hmm? to Cloud, come in! I'm gonna perform on stage next time! Such beauty. Eric to Cloud, come life. in! Wouldn't you agree? Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! There you go again. Stop looking at other girls. I only do it to compare them with you so I can realize how lucky I am. You know, I'm starting to think you're kind of an idiot. Did these beautiful angels come to me? Whoa, that is one hot chick. from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. Hey, hands to yourself!
that Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to Go me. Go to your room and wait. Quiet. Room's at the end. Keep walking. So dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh. Come on. Damn it. Cloud. I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> okay, my beautiful ladies. Time to line up for the dog. Kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies. Uh. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? 
Or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Days? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you! I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the Big Bone Girl! Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. We. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Don't you stupid! Wait. Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy bastard. I am! You <laughs> Yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! Uh -huh. <laughs> So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. 
Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Cause if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> it was the Director of Public Security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! The answer lies... in the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Aerith. Uh, Cloud. We have to get to Sector 7. Yeah.
go. You bet. Bring it on. It's probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But, if he was telling the truth... Hmm? And there's still a chance he was, isn't there? Then, we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Uh, Tifa! What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche saying, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that first. Lead the way. I'll go first, okay? I can't stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But... But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. <sighs> Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh... Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. <sighs> okay, Aerith. Your turn. On my way. Here we go. least I could do. Hear that, Cloud? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Focus. Still thinking about the plate? future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar. Decorations. Coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> Cloud can carry all our stuff. He'll be our pack chocobo. What was that about me? Nothing.
Sorry about that. No need to be. <sighs> Hang back. I'll go on ahead and secure the exit. Get going. No. Okay. You too. But there's too many of them. Not for me. Hurry. Last warning. Back off or die. Just on patrol. Don't worry, we'll make it in time. Hm. It's deserted, and kinda creepy. People don't come around here often. And not just because of the monsters, but because of the stories. What kind? Everyone seems to think that the train graveyard is haunted. Those who lose their way out there in the dark of night will never, ever find their way back home again. <gasps> Is that right? I mean, it's not like I think it's true or anything. But, you know, it's just... Then let's hurry. Here too. Guys? <sighs> Seriously? Come on, huh? Well, that's inviting. All right, let's see what's inside. Well, what do you think? Bodyguard, don't forget. Mine. <sighs> right? Ghosts aren't my thing. <sighs> You're just being modest. <sighs> After you. Mind letting me go then?
found you. Hey, can we talk? Just for a bit? dangerous I know but even so Saved us. <sighs> Gonna need to find another way through. for someone to come and play with you. Huh. What are you talking about? <sighs> come on, let's get back to the crane. <sighs> We're through. Great. Let's head outside. have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever. So you have to stay far, far away from there. All right then, I will. Mm. Oh, you know Betty? Yesterday she went with her daddy to... to... Hmm? When is daddy coming back? Oh. 
Actually, he might not make it home tonight. Any more time here? What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about. Let's get going. This path is blocked too, but we're so close I can see it. Uh, hey, do you think these trains might still run? Could give it a try. Good call. Looks like it still works. I knew it. <laughs> Everybody good? Yeah. Huh? Hmm? Uh, I think that's... Flight separation code is... Hmm. Got it. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. We just got the damn thing in that bar. It's just that. Almost there. Come on. Right. carries away have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever.
ready? Well, are ya? I'm ready now. Me too. Found you. <laughs> no way. We found you. Ah, uh, you got me. Hey, where's Aerith? I'm ready. I'm ready. Hmm? I said I'm ready. Come get me. I'm right here. So long.
You are surrounded! Stand down and surrender to public security immediately! Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists! Resist and we will use lethal force! I repeat! Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists! Resist and we will use lethal force! Got your lethal force right here, asshole! You got. Come on! <gasps> Trying to take out the pillar. I know. I have to go back. Barrett and the others are still. Stop. Uh, Stay with Wedge. I'm going up. Sir. I'm going to. I can still fight. Biggs, he. They were shooting at me and he. Wedge, please. Let Cloud handle it. Don't worry. I'll patch him up. Come on, guys! Help us coming! Wedge, listen to me. You stay here with them. Don't worry. 
He'll bounce back. That's good to hear. Could have used some extra padding myself. Don't talk. It's pretty bad up there. Cloud, promise me. Don't let it be for nothing. Hmm. I won't. <laughs> You're a good man. Giving me that... that comfort. One more thing. The Leaf House. It's an orphanage. In the Sector 5 slums. The kids, they're great. I used to visit. <coughs> that you'll have to do yourself. Let me guess. Not a fan of kids. No. But you have... So much in common. Good luck, Cloud. Our future is in your hands. So go crawl back into whatever hole you crawled out of, or something. That ought to do it, right? Eh, good enough. Wait, I know you. Mr. First Class. <laughs> your weapon and surrender. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. This one. How is it? Much better, thanks. I'm sorry. I can't stay here. I have to help them. Go. Follow your heart. Mm. 
Aerith. There's a bar in the center of town, Seventh Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. <clears throat> Come on. Seventh Heaven is this way. <clears throat> Wedge, wait! I'll mark it. Sir, you yeah. need to step away from the gate. <clears throat> you have to open the gate! If you don't let these people through! Back off! It's not gonna happen. <clears throat> Wedge! I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. <sighs> That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. You don't think we're gonna stop them from dropping the plate, do you? I want to believe that we can still win somehow. But something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here. Right now. I need to know I did everything I could. I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. Our lives are in your hands! If you don't open up, we're all gonna die! <clears throat> Close it! No, sir! I will not obey that order! This way, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! You can't just... Wait! Wedge! Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right! You can't miss it! Don't worry about me. All right, I'll get these people to safety. <laughs> this way, get everyone. out of Sector 7, please! please. Get out of you need to get as far on? away from Sector 7 as possible right now! Go to Sector 5 or 6! Any... You will have to get out of Sector 7 now, please! Hmm? Slow down. Do you know what's going on? What do they want with a pillar? Well, there's still time. But... They're going to drop the plate on us? <sighs> yes. Those sons of bitches! But what good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait! The watch should clear the roads first! Ah, good thinking. Hop to it! Avalanche, I take it? Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. Hmm. I've got to get to Seventh Heaven. That's it! Oh god! Look out! Crash! 
to Walmart. Finally! Hold on. Go, go, go! Oh, you poor thing. I know it must hurt, but you've got to be brave now, okay? Come on, keep moving this way! Hey! Hey! Over here! Come on! I'll take you to her. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Almost there, okay? The helicopter fell out of the sky! Hmm? No need to rush. Steady. Sarah, Are you hurt? Away. Leave everything behind. I'll be fine. Too. Don't worry about me. Hey, can you walk? We just have to work together. Get to Walmart now. It's too dangerous here. This way. Quickly now. Keep moving. Can you take care of her? Of course. Betty, I've been looking everywhere for you. Daddy! <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Stop! That way's already... Please! Is I need to get through! Oh, this is it, isn't it? Almost there! Almost there. Confirmed. One more bird lost. Probably for the best. After all. Change of plans. You can take it from here. Someone's been a little too adventurous. Marlene, right? Who... who are you? I'm... a friend of Tifa's. <laughs> um, where is she? Right now, she's with Cloud and the others. Daddy too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there too. Wait, Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. Uh, the thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? <laughs> Are they gonna destroy the bar? Are they gonna destroy our house? <laughs> I know it's hard. Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together, anywhere. Shall we go? Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
like... like a flower. I hope you remember it. Come on. Tell you what, we'll grow lots of flowers at your new house. Do you think that I could help too? Of course you can. Hey, what's your... us on a merry chase, Aerith. Sung. Before you say another word, know that your options are limited. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? Mm. <sighs> How about we make a deal? They're your last. It's okay, Cloud. It's okay. They were my bombs. They were all my victims. I had it coming. My hero. So 
gentle. Just try to hang on. <laughs> so dramatic. I... I just wish that I could have had you over again. Everyone with Mom's cooking. I really wanted to believe we could. Yeah. You owe me a pizza. <laughs> That's right. I do. But I don't think... Oh no. Tifa's crying. Did I say something wrong? Personal, bitch! The 
Get your wings, huh? I was planning to join you anyway. <laughs> Any landing you can walk away from. <laughs> Come on, let's teach him the first two step. Plate separation authorized. <laughs> Awaiting confirmation. How do we stop it? <laughs> Who knows? Where are you going?
Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. And she did. You sure? Hey, where are you going? I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Tifa, 
Know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. Nothing. Let's go. Where's Marlene? Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, uh, Marlene. She's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. <sighs> About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But, he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. 
Every day I went to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories, like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility, and how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no, this one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, Who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others, an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home. Once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, 
I don't know if I could... if I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. Take us straight to the Sector 5 slums. Still in one piece. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. See what's on the other side. Finally, I can use some fresh air. Damn it! I still can't believe this happened. Listen, Center Six is right over there. We just need to walk a little bit longer. That's all. Just a little more. Come on. Come on. It won't budge. Make room. Mara, you're alive. With me. Ready? And... Great job, guys. Thank you. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> Okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole.
Hear that? That's Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow it. Ready? One, two, three! Is this all that's left of Wedge's place? Okay. You sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Making me worry like that. I'd kick your ass if you didn't look like shit. Thank God. Thank you. Okay, let's go.
about time, Merc! You're up. Late to the party and you giving me orders? You managed to track us down. Followed the trail of bullet holes. There's nobody else I know who can do that kind of mess. We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. Saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but. Don't. They've returned to the planet. supposed to return to us. <sighs> but if we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. Sorry, I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <clears throat> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people. 
and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra's scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... Please, I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? You should rest up while you can. Likewise. No, I'm good. Real good. <laughs> Besides, when I close my eyes, I start thinking about things. About people. Like Finn. Lazy little punk. Kid would do damn near anything except what you told him. But ask him to paint you a picture, and boy, howdy. No stamps in the tunnels. Finn's work, every one. Then there's Al, Intel guy. He had these tricks for stealing codes I still don't understand. Stole his share of hearts, too. But when it came to the ladies, he just had the one trick. Bouquet of flowers hidden behind his back. Funny to think, some of them might have even come from here. He pulled a flower trick on Tifa once, believe it or not. <laughs> she told him where to stick them. Of course she did. Our quartermaster Nelly had a good laugh at that. She was tight with Jesse. People sometimes took them for sisters, even. They'd say, no way, and get upset. But then they'd start giggling, and, you know. Yeah, they'll all be fine. They're strong. They're tough, like me. <laughs> After we save Aerith, I'll introduce you to them. Sounds good. <laughs> Never thought I'd feel better after talking with your hard-boiled ass. Think you can sleep now? Oh yeah, like a baby. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time, 
I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. <laughs> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> And that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. Right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay, you can go. Tougher than me. All right, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. And it's assured to knock your socks all the way into next. So after bombing reactors one and five, what do the eco terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako reactor seven. Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage. The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Wu Tai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wu Tai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil, come on! Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit. <sighs> <sighs> Will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. Long time no see. What brings you back here? Well, we need to find a way to get Topside as quickly as possible. And we figured Corneo ought to know one. Is that so? In that case, I can help. You serious? Then tell us! Follow me. Hmm. Let's just hear him out. Hmm? 
So, what's the deal with the hole? Unfinished business. If you three give me a hand with it, I'll give you what you need to get topside. You want us to go back into the sewers with you? What's down there? Corneo's hidey hole. That's where I'm headed. You're not gonna try to screw us over, are you? If that's what you think, walk away. I'll find somebody else to work with. And you'll have to find another way to get topside. All right. We're in. Say what? He betrays us. He dies. Fine by me. He means it. I'll tell you more after we've climbed down. When you're good to go, let me know. Okay. Follow me. Seriously, what's the deal with the hole? It's a trap for the Don's enemies. What? No one's ever gotten out alive. Well, until recently, that is. You are going to hold up your end of the bargain, right? As long as you hold up yours, yeah. I don't trust you and I don't like you. So if you so much as breathe in a suspicious way, I'll turn that face of yours into a honeycomb. I'd save your bullets for the monsters if I were you. Some are a lot tougher than you'd think. Hate to say it, but I can barely take them on my own. You, on the other hand, shouldn't have any trouble, am I right? Let's get this over with. The Mark of Avalanche. Right. Jesse and Big stashed the skeleton key down here. I never got the chance to thank them for what they did. Tifa. Let's just keep moving, okay? Hate to interrupt, but the trunk line's just through that door. One over there. Yeah, we heard you. Maybe. About time. This way. There should be a door with Corneo's mark on it around here somewhere. Hey, wasn't this locked before? Your time to shine. Clear the path ahead, would you? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you something? Why did you help us out before? You could have lost everything. Andrea, you told me to. That really it? And I couldn't bring myself to let it happen again. Huh? It doesn't matter. Let's go. This it? Yeah. So how are we supposed to get topside? Through here. Then you're telling me we're not done? Sorry, guys. But it's not that simple. <laughs> no! Wait! We gotta catch him! Huh? He took the key to the door! Without it, we're screwed! Let's go. Give it back! That's... Give it back. That's not a key. Sorry. That's not your pendant either. Were they family? No. It was all just a dream, wasn't it? But 
One day? No. Time to wake up and forget. Six months ago. On that day, Corneo picked her as a bride, and on the next, she vanished without a trace. But before she did, she gave it back. Salt on the wound. Thing cost me a small fortune. Why did you want to come down here? Revenge. I know I need to let go, but I can't. I need closure, because without it, I'll never be able to move on. It's fine. As long as you get us topside, we're still in. Thanks. And don't worry. I got you. <sighs> you all right. It's Leslie! Got some urgent info for the Don! <laughs> Come alone? Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. I think I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I'll let you in on a secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie, I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? When you think you've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Huh? It's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Uh. <laughs> 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 Feel free to play with your food. Shut up. Bastard. First him, then Corneo. You okay? 
Where's Cornell? Sorry. Bastard got away. Uh, it's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. <sighs> she could still be out there. Can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. Huh? It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here. And then I'll give you what you need. Ah. Taste that sweet Midgar small. <laughs> This way. <sighs> Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But, they're one-way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order, just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone, too. That right. Hope you find it. You too. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ready to do this? Once we start up that wall, we won't be coming back here anytime soon. You know, Part of me wishes we could do more for the people down here, before we take the fight to Shinra. Sure you want to go now? Pretty high. Excited? Oh yeah. Glad someone is. Hmm. Aerith's up there, waiting for us. Then we best get a move on, huh? Ready? <laughs> Two goals. Goal one, kick some Shinra ass and save the planet. Goal two, Save the girl while kicking motion her ass and get out. Copy. I think I see a rope hanging off the top bed. <laughs> Too easy. This keeps up, I'm gonna get bored. Huh. We can 
take him. We need to stay on mission. Saving Aerith is our top priority. I said respond! Hunter 2-2! Two -two. Respond, damn it! <sighs> this is Hunter 2-2. Two -two. Just had to put down a few monsters. Over. <sighs> Roger. Frickin' avalanche making us put in OT. Probably cowering in the dark somewhere. If you find the shitheads, make them suffer. Two, three out. Listen up! We ain't running and we ain't hiding! Y'all don't know the meaning of suffering, but you will! Call was over. You'll help too, won't you? For a price. Keep up! 
There's such a thing as too much excitement. Yeah. And there's still more to come. Guess so. Hope everybody's warmed up. That's good. <clears throat> Rolled out the welcome wagon. Gotta say, I can't help but wonder if this is a lost cause. Well, you know, some lost causes are worth fighting for. Let's just think this through. So, I got an idea. Frontal assault, guns please. Make for a good story. Why'd we bring you along again? <sighs> Rear entrance. We'll get inside via the parking garage. Shinra truck, isn't it? Come on. Huh? How's it looking out there? Anything? Nah. All clear. Roger. Okay, head on in. <sighs> so far, so good. <laughs> Nobody's home. Yeah. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. That'd make the most sense. And where is that? Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. Maybe. Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. be able to disable security from here. Huh? Ha! Hot damn, girl! But I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. So you can use that to look up what floor the research facility's on? I think so. Give me a sec. <sighs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is then. Mm -hmm. Right. Go 
going up. Doors closing. So what can we expect further up? Hmm. More security and restrictions. It's not gonna get any easier. Huh? Huh? Tenth floor. Oh. Doors <gasps> opening. <gasps> Intruders! <laughs> 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 Say that. Wasn't expecting that. Think anyone knows we're here? Nah, we took him down quick. Going up. Doors closing. Wonder if it'll stop again. People ought to try using the damn stairs sometime. If it happens again, we'll deal with it like before. We got this. That didn't take long, did it? 20th floor. Door open. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Going up. Door closing. Straight on up to the top now. Come on. We just keep getting waylaid, don't we? If you want to take the stairs. Now that you mention it, no. 30th floor. Door open. Heads up. Could be trouble. <clears throat> Here too. She probably called for help. 40th floor. Who's it gonna be next? Door open. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. We're safe here. What about you, Mom? You okay? <sighs> Good. That's a relief. <sighs> what? Oh, they gotta be kidding. Going out. Door closing. No, we haven't heard anything new yet. But they told us that Avalanche could attack again at any time. Just get somewhere safe, oh, okay? Yeah, yeah about that. <sighs> A whole lot of normal people with families and friends work for Shinra. People just trying to support their loved ones as best they can. I know it's not exactly a revelation, but it's easy to forget. A good man who serves a great evil is not without sin. He must recognize and accept his complicity. He must open his eyes to the truth that his corporate masters are profiting from the planet's pain. Only then can he redeem himself. I know you know this. I do. Tifa, we need to focus on saving Aerith. I know. I will. 59th floor. Door open. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred percent. One hundred ten. Mako supersaturation confirmed. <laughs> Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. <laughs> Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. Uh, uh. Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia.
contaminants registered. Hmm. <laughs> We're leaving. Materia growth accelerating, outpacing models, registering crystallization within the reserve tank. The reaction is out of control. We have to stop it quickly. Clean up the mess, would you? Ma'am. So this is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No, it's fine. I've brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director. I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. Welcome to the Shinra Building, our humble home. Oh, hell no! Here, in the Memorial Museum, you can learn all about our president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And of course, the city of Midgar, and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up! This is Midgar, our home. Recreated in one ten-thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies! Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into that bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. This place is empty. What the hell? Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. Oh. 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 
And once they had, the ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture, too, has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. 2,000 years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. <laughs> but before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we have harnessed the power of Mako. Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green and verdant land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized. Oh dear, a man of my refined taste running out of butter. <laughs> Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> no, it, it couldn't possibly have been crazy ass thing made me want to puke. And not just because of the presentation, but the content too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor, what was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra expert. Your mission is to go out and tell everyone about the wonders of Shinra. Next, you'll be visiting the repository for Shinra's expertise and know-how. Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the corporate archive. What the? <sighs> Greetings and welcome, Avalanche, I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm? Uh -huh. I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The mayor of Midgar? The empty suit that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built. That Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. 
Guess we're supposed to follow. Look at this place. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man, you hear? This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <gasps> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the President's gonna get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. Hmm. <sighs> well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great! So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up! You telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours.
Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh. Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Just say, Mayor, to the guy, and if he goes, the best, with gusto, then you've found your man. You got it? So, about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith, you misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed, so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work, my dear. Hmm. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy, to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit, through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear. Ifalna was elegance, right down to her cellular structure. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes. Time for yet another meeting. Sit tight. I won't be long. Here's the 63rd floor, where loyal Shinra employees relax and recharge. It's pretty late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. Yeah, yeah. Guess I better get working on my conversation skills. They look busy. The plate did just fall. What kind of particular Seeing them like this somehow makes me feel a little bit better. Let's we'll find our contact. Not seeing any security around. One less thing to worry about. You work here? I don't recognize you. Can I help you with something? The mayor. Is the best. I was told to expect you. you need access to upper floors, right? That's right. Before I trust you with this key card, I need to see what you can actually do. Say what? Do you know what would happen if you got caught? We're putting our lives on the line here. Prove you're worth it. We have a state-of-the-art combat simulator. It can provide a real challenge, let me tell you. If you beat the sim, then the key card is all yours. All right, I've seen enough. I'm a man of my word. Here, this key card will grant you access to the 64th floor. You can use the elevator to get there. Once you're up there, just what is it you plan on doing? We came to get one of our friends. She's being held in a research lab somewhere. A lab? Then she must be with Professor Hojo. It won't be easy to get to her. Access to R&D is limited to authorized personnel only. We'll find a way in. Know where we can find Hojo? A board meeting is scheduled to start soon. It's being held in the main conference room. President Shinra, Professor Hojo, and the other directors will be in attendance. Think they like surprises? We can even take the president as a hostage. Think of the leverage. 
try it and security will be on your asses in seconds. We need to find out what they're planning. So you want to spy in their meeting? Hm. I have an idea. Head to the men's restroom. You can climb into the air ducts there. They go all the way to the conference room. Thanks for the tip. Cloud? Huh? You're Cloud, right? Oh. Holy shit! It's cool, bro. We went through training together. Damn! So you're still alive and kicking, huh? Some of the guys heard you got smoked, but I told them it was all bullshit. Hey, sit tight, man. I'm gonna go get Kunzel. I'll be right back. Old buddy. You okay? Yeah. But you were just... I'm good. Let's keep moving. I trust the narrative is intact? Rock solid. The people have embraced the Wu-Tai Avalanche conspiracy wholeheartedly. I've almost come to believe it myself. Wu-Tai's response? So far, nothing. And if those cowards do react, all the better for us and our story. Very well. Then we shall stay the course. If I may, sir, there was one other matter. Oh? A message from our man Palmer. Damn it. Barrett. Yeah, yeah, I know. We came here to save Eric. That's our first priority. That's right. We only get one chance. Hojo should be at that board meeting, so that'll buy us some time. We need to plan this just right. This it? I'm telling you, I saw him. With my own eyes. Sauntering down the corridor. We don't have time for this nonsense. Ah, he was as close to me as you are now. The, the shock of it made me spill my tea. Enough already. If there are intruders in the building, my men will deal with them. But, Mr. President, sir, I swear to you. Reeve. Sir. I have the damage assessment for Sector 7, and I'm afraid the figures are catastrophic. Spare us the doom and gloom. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, well, sir, I've also drafted a that reconstruction not plan for... Huh? Not with the Ancient in our custody once more. Uh, with respect, sir, Two I don't see words, how... words, Reeve. <sighs> Neo Midgar. <sighs> In their promised land, we will build a new Mako powered metropolis. Mr. President, we still don't know for sure that the promised land even. <sighs> <sighs> Professor Hojo. The test results were within expectations. The specimen is somewhat lacking compared to her pure-blood mother, but for our purposes, she should more than suffice. So she can lead us to the Promised Land? Well, Mr. President, that remains to be seen. I would like your permission to secure her cooperation through more forceful means. Forceful, yet gentle. She is a precious resource that must be handled with care. Personally, I've never had a problem with torture. My armory is at your disposal, should you require anything. I had something more psychological in mind. Better to scar the psyche than mar the flesh. <laughs> Proceed as you see fit. However, you will not make the same mistake twice.
Is that clear? If I may, Mr. President, I have an idea how we might mitigate the risks. Simply put, we could have the Ancient reproduce. In the absence of a second specimen, we would need to identify an alternative mate. I would start with candidates from Soldier. These would, of course, include S and G types. Quite frankly, there's no telling what kind of properties a crossbred specimen might possess. So, what say you all? <sighs> hmm. <sighs> If there is nothing else... Mr. President! Meeting adjourned. Uh, please, <sighs> sir! Something stinks. Anything? The man in the lab coat. Head of R&D. We follow him. Okay. And then we kill the son of a bitch. Not until he's led us to Aerith. That's the plan. Walking the halls of this very building, who would have believed it? I wonder... Hmm... Were I to arrange a face-to-face... -face? <laughs> How I should like to meet their offspring. Ah, uh, but that can wait. First, we must have answers. A simple psychoactive agent should suffice. Nothing likely to cause any long-term damage. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <laughs> Don't move. Hmm. I ain't bluffing. What is this? A dozen bullets in your head, unless you open that door right now. must be the ones who've been stirring up trouble lately. The eco-terrorists? Hmm. If so, I can't imagine what business you have with me. The President's upstairs. Go on, shoot! Shut up. Keep walking. <laughs> Y'all better move a muscle. Do stop pushing. Unlike you, I am less accustomed to physical violence. You'll get used to it. What is it that you want? Our friend. She's in your lab. Really? Tell us where Aerith is. Oh, so she's your friend. Well, well, well. In that case, yes, that might do the trick. Mind speaking up, son? It's nothing. Just imagining how she might react if I were to present to her your fresh corpses. <laughs> I promise, <laughs> you will regret this.
Hojo's getting away! by my predictive models indicate that this force should be more than capable of handling you. Y'all about to learn predictable. We're taking Aerith back. Oh, take her back, you say? Correct me if I am wrong, but did the girl not come here of her own free will? Or do you mean to tell me that she is your personal property? She only came here to save Marlene! I'm afraid you misunderstand. <laughs> but I really can't be bothered to explain. This facility is home to extraordinary specimens that will change the world as we know it. Do try to be considerate. Okay. Looks like your models got it wrong. Yes, an unknown variable. Perhaps. Well, no matter. Reinforcements will soon arrive. But will they get here in time to save you from me? Why are you a soldier? Yeah. No, not quite. Oh, now I recall. My memory was mistaken. My boy, you were. What? Oh, what is this fascinating phenomenon? What's happening? Where are you taking me? What are those things up to this time? Cloud! Barrett. Got it. Stand back. <laughs> You came for me! Yep. You good? I'm great. <sighs> Thanks for saving Molly. I owe you one. Save it for later. <sighs> Aerith, you okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. No biggie. Let's get out of here.
so what the hell is it? A fascinating question. Uh, <laughs> did it just talk? You asked what it is. Hmm. I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. I'd appreciate it if we simply left it at that. Agreed? Designation given to me by Hojo. Then you must have another name. What is it? <sighs> we got away. So we're gonna go get the son of a bitch. You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R&R. &R. Nah, I'm good. What are we going to do about Sector 7? <sighs> we are going to do nothing. Been thinking. Was all that necessary? Had we refused, someone else would have completed the task. We have spared that someone the burden of a guilty conscience. Perhaps that will ease yours. <sighs> yeah, nope. Let's try another tack then. They were a sacrifice to balance the scales. Say what? After everything we'd taken from the planet, we were due to give something back. Do you actually believe that? Does it matter? <clears throat> yes, understood. The VP needs us. Still a child.
Every morning, they'd come and take my mom away. I remember crying here alone. Aerith, before we break out of here, talk to us. There's so much we don't know. I'm a descendant of the ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, that's not their actual name. They called themselves the Cetra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well, honestly, I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm. Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the promised land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> Nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now, not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean... To you and your people. Shinra's after it, because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako, they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? <clears throat> Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barret, wait. You can't do that. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> oh, great. These assholes again. Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter destiny's course and ensure they do not. Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow... fixed? Yes. For it is the will of the planet itself. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff, which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the Whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure. But I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help all of you and the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself.
Aha! There you are. Rick, what are you doing, man? Hey, guys, long time no see. Wes? You're here? You, you shouldn't be up and moving. I'm feeling much better thanks to Elmira's cooking. Ah, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Listen, any moment now... <laughs> what was that? An explosion? HQ is running the show this time. They're raising hell to try and flush out the president. <clears throat> this complicates matters. That explosion just now put the whole building on high alert. So now we're trapped in here? No need to panic, little lady. See? You can still move freely within Hojo's laboratory. Find a way to the roof. An avalanche chopper will come to extract you. HQ's bailing us out? I doubt it. Not after all the shit we've pulled. I asked them really nicely. Like super duper nicely. Thanks, Wedge. Just get to the roof, okay? Uh, oh? Uh, oh. Uh. I didn't ask him to do any of that. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm glad he did. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna still chew him out for it later. What happened here? The little ones in the pods. Where did they go? It stinks in here. Back there. That would be Let's go. Right. <laughs> Hell is this place? Hojo's treasure. Shinra's dark secret. What I wouldn't give to burn it all down. But we need to get to the roof. What is that? Genova.
Don't deny me. Embrace me. A touching reunion. Very, very good. And thus is the hypothesis proven correct. I can only hope you will continue not to disappoint. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Where are the others? Nowhere close. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Now you start to impress me. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> yeah, keep it up, y'all. <laughs> Don't move an inch. We'll head down too. Be right there. Huh? I can't hear what you're saying. I think there's something over there. Yeah. You okay in there? No need to worry. We're fine. But what do we do now? I don't see any way out of this room. <clears throat> Can you all hear me? Hojo. <laughs> so, tell me. How are you finding the drum? You know it's filled with the most advanced technology in Midgar, if not the entire world. You should feel honored to see it firsthand. You'll also have the opportunity to take part in a rather ambitious experiment of mine. What? When all the pieces are in place, I will open the door to the third ward. Perhaps you can help me with the necessary preparations. Given that you're already in the perfect position to do so, <laughs> I look forward to data both invaluable and instrumental. Necessary preparations? What the hell is this asshole talking about? Can't we just ignore him and keep going? I'm afraid not. If I know Hojo, he won't let us out until we indulge his request for data. Yeah. He said something about a ward, right? I'm pretty sure I saw a door to one upstairs somewhere. So, you wanna check it out? Alright. We'll make our way to the central terminal. Sit tight until you hear from us. The hell kind of research is this? The cataclysm that came from the stars. Genova. Hojo has devoted half of his life to her study. I don't give a shit about any of that. The experiments in this facility involve the enhancement of life forms and machines through the application of Genova biological data. Hojo's plan is to pit his subjects against us, thereby facilitating their growth. <laughs> so this asshole thinks he can treat us like his experiments? I know what fate awaits these creations. Let us put them out of their misery. Yeah, looks 
just like it. Look, now's our chance to kill the bastard. Time for you to pay the piper! They'll never learn. Be a good boy and keep the other pets company. <laughs> Shit, looks like Red might need our help up there. Get out of here! What was that thing? Where's Hojo? Sorry, he got away. Forget about him for now. Test subjects don't receive treatment. They're enhanced. Now what? Hey! Let us out! I remember you! He remembers us, I see. Hey! You okay down there? No holding back. That's right. Damn it! Red! Shit! He can't hold them all forever! Let's finish this! now. Nice one. Have Cloud and Barrett found anything? Actually, they just found the entrance to the fourth ward. But to unlock it, they have to access the central terminal, which they cannot do from their position. Maybe we can get to it instead. Yeah, let's try. Again, you triumph. <laughs> I'd be disappointed if you didn't. 
Yes, I believe I have just about all the data that I require. Then, we are ready to proceed to the next stage. <laughs> yes, we got it to work. <laughs> hey, you guys. Uh, hey. <laughs> Band's back together. Last time we got out of here and made our way to the roof. There's an elevator just over there. Hmm? But it will move only at Hojo's discretion. Well, okay then. Looks like the elevator is working. It appears Hojo's done having his fun. <laughs> Glad to hear he enjoyed the show. Again. Yeah. Hey! What the hell's going on? Who would? We may find out soon. Let's go. So what's above this floor? The president's office, and then the roof. Ugh. Wait. Once we get in that elevator, there's no turning back. We're ready. Right? Huh? The elevator back there can take us down to the central terminal again. Now's the time for any unfinished business. Help me! Please! Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there? Please help me! Hey! I'll give you all the money you want. I have killed plenty of it. <laughs> Thing is, I don't want your money. Please. We live. Everything you want can be yours. I'm a man of modest dreams. Dropping you from 70 stories up would get me damn near to good. But not all the way. You want something more, don't you? More than this right here? Talk to me again like you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them. Tell them what you did to Sector 7. That it was you who killed all those people. Then, you're gonna tell them the truth about Avalanche. That Avalanche ain't Wu Tao or anybody's puppet. That Avalanche fights for the people, the planet. That we fight to hold Shinra to account for its crimes. That is Avalanche. The filthy sewer rats who brought down a Goliath. You tell them that. 
Is that really all you want? For your names to be cleared? <laughs> that is what matters most to you? More than shutting down the reactors? Than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn! You're lying to yourself even now. Truth, justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgence is everyone. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra, without Mako energy. A stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people? Help them recover and rebuild? You? With their old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. <sighs> One last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your vaunted principles? What principles? Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt. The source of everything. This death was not the one ordained for you by fate.
Sephiroth! Everyone okay? Hmm. Hey, get your man. He got away. Huh. About time we made our escape too. Hmm. Take Aerith and get out of here. Hmm. I'll buy you guys some time. I can stay here. Back you up. Barrett. I'm asking you. Please. Oh, fine. Have it your way then. But you better be right behind us. Soldier, aren't you? Which, of course, would mean that I own you. <laughs> Ex soldier. I quit. Secure the others. <laughs> hmm. Just the two of us. Maybe three. Understood. Think you got my number? Not at all. You're making me sweat. Good thing I came prepared. Now it's just the two of us. <laughs> Let's make it a night to remember. <laughs> I could end this, here and now. No, not quite. Tonight marks a new beginning. For Shinra! Ugh. <sighs> 
You gotta be better than this. If you're gonna play the hero. Think they can manage on their own? You've seen them both in action. You know they can. Besides... <gasps> what was that? <sighs> Gotta believe they made it out. I hope so. Damn it. Hey. Screw it. We gotta go pay. Hey. What, Red? Get down! <laughs> We're cool. Everything's cool. Baron! Not again! You can't! For Biggs, for Jesse, Tifa, and Barrett too. I'm sorry, Cloud. Just tell me that that I made a difference. One piece. Yeah, somehow. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> escape, and quickly. You're right. Let's go. All we gotta do now is find the others. <clears throat> We 
have them surrounded, sir. Yes, I can see that. It was only a matter of time. Here we are. <laughs> so then, what is this ragtag group of misfits I see before me? Avalanche! Local florist! Lab rat dog. <laughs> and where are the rest of you? Up your ass. <laughs> Charming, though not what I would have chosen as my last words. Secure the ancient, but feel free to kill both the idiot and the dog. Eric, you saved my Marlene. Now, it's time I return the favor. Wait! Free, Red. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Man, you need to lighten up. Hell, you might even try smiling. <clears throat> mm. On second thought, maybe frowning suits you better. Hey, don't pout. <clears throat> Look. Hmm?
What is all this? Something wrong, sir. Stand by, sir. Your orders. Bring them in. It's like the whole damn building's made of them. Yeah. I don't understand. What are they doing? Who knows? Wait! You don't think he got caught up in it, do you? If he did, I hope he's okay. <sighs> They're coming. Who? <gasps> this we don't need. Time to go. <laughs> So now, they're on our side? 
Whispers intervene, not to defend us, but to preserve the flow of destiny. Okay, asshole, let Don't! And you... You're wrong. Those who look with clouded eyes see nothing but shadows. Everything about you is wrong. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. The world won't end today. For you. You will. Destiny comes. Drag our asses all this way. This is the welcome we get. <sighs> boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. your dreams and whatever happens protect your honor as a soldier come and get it
This is the point of no return. Destiny's Crossroads. Then why did you stop me? I'm not really sure. What will we find on the other side? Freedom. Boundless. Terrifying freedom. Like a great, never-ending sky. What you heard just now were the voices of the planet. Those born into this world, who lived and who died, who returned, are howling in pain. Because of him, Sephiroth? They... Their words... They don't reach him. All these moments and memories, precious and fleeting, they're like rain rolling off his back. And when they're gone, he won't cry or shout or anything. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet, that he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. There's no greater threat to the planet than him. Sephiroth has to be stopped. He has to be. And that's why... I'm asking you to help me. I know that together, we can do this. But if we do... We'll be changing more than fate itself. If we succeed, if we win, we'll be changing ourselves. I guess... Maybe... That's why I hesitated. <laughs> you said it yourself. He has to be stopped. And frankly, I've heard enough howling for a lifetime. Never tried to challenge destiny. This could well be her last line of defense. It won't be easy. Let's go. spit in destiny's eye. Whether you can see the scenes or you can't, doesn't change that she's always trying to have it her way. Daddy's coming home real soon, honey.
<sighs> Don't know about you, but looks normal to me. Over there. What the hell 
did I just see? A glimpse of tomorrow if we fail you today. I'm waiting, Cloud. Huh? What the hell is this? This is... Did 
you miss me? Not really. <laughs> He's tough. Yeah? So what? Screw him. Dick! lies ahead does not yet exist. Our world will become a part of it one day, but I will not end. Nor will I have you end. This is... The edge of creation. Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. <laughs> Never. Till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see.
Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right. Thank you. Oh, 
Finally! I'll come back. So, what now? Sephiroth. As long as he's still out there, I... I thought you beat him! We can. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. I'm in too! Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche! Almost there, Cloud. We're almost there. I miss it. The steel sky. I would be alone.